Hi, this is Bill Johnston with Kansas Corn. Today I'm in the greenhouse at Royal Valley High School in the Ag Education Department and I want to teach you how to use the information from the soil jar test. But let's make sure that we have the basics covered first. You know that you realize that there are three types of soil, sand, silt, and clay. And those types of soils are based mostly on the particle size. You know, the smallest one is clay. And then silt, that's uh, about 10 times bigger than a clay particle. And sand can be 10 times or even more bigger than silt. That principle will come into play when we talk about this jar test. Now, understand that yeah, you can have soil that's 100% sand or 100% silt or 100% clay. But most of Kansas is a mixture of all three. A lot of times they're called a loam. And those mixtures form what we call the textures or the composition of the soil. Now, those textures are divided up into a triangle and you can figure out what type of texture you have but we're going to talk about that in just a second first of all let's make sure we understand how to run the test pretty simple it's been used for a long time see a farmer can look at his soil and by the feel of it by the color of it by the way it works can kind of tell what kind of soil it is but that takes experience and they don't even know exactly how much of each is in it. They just have a pretty good idea because of their experience. What we can use though is this jar test. It's been used for years and it really is simple and works pretty well. See we just fill a container up about halfway with soil and then slowly add water until it's about three-fourths full and then we're going to shake it vigorously. It may take a minute or two. We have to make sure that is, this is thoroughly mixed. And then we just let the soil settle. Now remember the part about the soil particles. The first one that's going to settle is the sand. Well, because it's the biggest and the heaviest. And that's going to happen in a few minutes. The sand will settle to the bottom. And then the silt, you know, the next heaviest particle, it's going to start settling. That may take two or three hours. And then the smallest particle, the clay, it'll start settling. And it may take two or three days to settle. But once it is settled, you will have the types of soil separated in the jar. Remember earlier, I said that these soils are a combination of all three types. And we use a soil triangle to figure out what type of soil we have. Remember, there are 12 textures or soil compositions. And we can use this soil triangle to figure out exactly what kind of soil that we have on our property. This is a sample of soil that I took from my own farm a few days ago. And as you can see, sometimes it's fairly difficult to see the differences in the soil. But it did settle. The sand particles did flow to the bottom. That's the sand below that line. And then there's a really gradual difference in the color at this line. This from here to that line is the silt and from this line to the top line is the clay that floated down last. Now you can see some of this other stuff at the top well that's organic matter that's in the soil you know like dead leaves and plants and decaying twigs those kind of things. Because of the results of my own soil jar test is a little difficult to see I decided to use this illustration to show you how to gather the information necessary for your jar test. In this illustration that I measured using millimeters, I measured each one, the clay, the silt, the sand. I came up with 24 millimeters of clay 
out of 90 millimeters, well that would make 27 percent. 30 millimeters of silt is about 33 percent and 36 millimeters of sand comes out to 40 percent sand. Now what do we do with this information? Okay, let's figure out how to use these results from the jar test. Over here we talked about the 27 percent clay. Well, in the triangle you'll see right there it says percent clay. So, I went to approximately 27 percent and I drew this blue line across there. See, for clay, the line goes across the triangle. And then remember that we had 33% silt. Well, the lines for silt go diagonally up and down. So I drew this green line representing approximately 33% silt. And then finally, you see here at the bottom, it says percent sand, and the sand lines run diagonally up to the left. And this pink line represents the 40% of the sand that was in our jar test. If we look at where all three of these lines intersect, it is in the clay loam area. Therefore, we have clay loam soil. Okay, I think you now understand how to do the jar test and how to interpret the results. But let me throw out a little challenge for you. See, I did my own jar test with the soil from my own farm. I measured it. There is 78 millimeters of soil in this jar. 78 millimeters. And I drew lines where the soil separated. There's 20 millimeters of sand. There is 25 millimeters of silt and there is 33 millimeters of clay. 20 of sand, 25 of silt, and 33 of clay out of 78 millimeters. What kind of soil do I have? Good luck. Have a great day.